you only need three ingredients to make this beautiful soap so without any delay let's get started so ingredient number one is sodium hydroxide number two is distilled water and last but not the least olive oil i used olive oil pomace but you can use any olive oil of your choice step one now is to mix sodium hydroxide and distilled water always make sure you add sodium hydroxide to the water and not the other way around i also want to add here that when you mix lye to water uh, it generates a lot of fumes so try not to be on top of it because you can inhale those fumes so stay a little bit away from it always make sure you wear safety glasses and gloves during this process so take your time mix lye slowly to water and keep adding a little bit of lye keep mixing it then add a little bit more keep mixing it and until it is completely mixed and you know it is mixed when you will see the water is clear and you can see the bottom of your container otherwise sometimes there could be lumps and those lumps will kind of ruin your soap not kind of actually that will ruin your soap so make sure you mix it very well take your time and do not rush i will say again now as you can see the temperature here is almost 180 degree fahrenheit so now this is the time you put it aside and let it cool down ideally the temperature of live water and olive oil should be within 20 degrees of each other but i will wait only until it reaches to around 120 degree fahrenheit because olive oil takes a long time to trace so i don't mind if the temperature is high that actually helps to trace it faster it's time to mix live water to the olive oil right now see if you will add directly to the oil and fast you will see it create bubbles as you can see so that's why I always try to pour it slowly through the walls of the container that way you won't create these bubbles it doesn't do anything any harm to the soap it just a cosmetic thing and just some people don't prefer to have bubbles in their soap so pour it slowly through the walls of the container and mix it slow hi my name is Geeta and I bring soap making and craft tutorials on this channel I hope you are finding this video valuable and if you are please make sure you let me know by hitting that like button and also if this is the type of content you like make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos so stick around i will see you again let's get back to the video now starts the fun part of the process take the stick blender and put it in the soap batter and tap it a few times to get the bubbles out and start stick blending stick blend it for a while when you will see that the batter is starting to get thicker then you start checking in between Until then, you keep stick blending it at a few second intervals like 5 second or 7 second intervals and then stop, move it around and then stick blend it again. And then as it gets thicker, make sure you check in between. Here it took me around 30 seconds to reach to the tray. But it always depends on the recipe, the oils and butters you are using in the oil. That's what it depends on. Now I'm going to show you how it looks like when the trace is achieved. One thing you can say is it looks like a pudding. It, another way to say is if you will try to write something with that soap batter on top of the soap batter and it does not dissolve and you can see it just like this. That's when you can say definitely the trace is there. So the soap has traced 
and you can pour it in the mold now so here i'm pouring it in the mold it's ready to go in the mold because i did not add any color or fragrance but if you have fragrance to add right after trace is the time to add the fragrance but if you're just learning you're starting make a very simple soap and trust me you will love this soap anyways so the soap is in the mold now we will just tap it a few times just to get the bubbles out of it and this is the optional step i use isopropanol here 98 percent to spray the top of the soap uh, because sometimes there is a layer of soda ash that gets deposited and to avoid it I spray it with isopropanol all right now i will leave it for two days so this is actually three days later i took it out of the mold and first always check make sure your soap is actually ready to come out of the mold means it's like not too soft and it easily slides out so here it slid out pretty easily of the soap mold look how beautiful it is looking i love a simple bar of soap i love it it's time to cut the soap now you can cut it however you like it i cut my soap in five equal parts i use a measuring tape marked it and just cut it with a regular soap cutter after you cut it you should cure it for at least two months uh, i know it's difficult to wait that long and you want to try it so at this point you can actually take a small bar of soap for yourself to try because it's already a soap now but there's water in it that needs to evaporate and there's some crystalline structures and reactions going on still so it's better you let it cure for another two months to see how it feels and it will be best after four to six months i hope you liked this video you found this valuable and let me know in the comments below what should be the next soap video about so i will see you then thanks for watching